Hello, my soccer nerds for a second review video of this midweek. Before I get to it, in case you didn't watch my cup video from Austria and Germany, I wanted to thank you again for the nice birthday wishes. Um, made me made me very 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 happy. So thank you very much again and all for your positive encouragement towards my channel. This is all greatly appreciated. Uh, as it was midweek, my kind of my birthday midweek, <laughs> I have to say, uh, if I just look at personally, everything uh, went very well. My two favorite teams in Serie A won. One is hanging there with probably the favorite jersey of theirs, uh, oh, my sec second favorite, and of course, Roma also won. And since Roma made the biggest jump in the table uh, in terms of expectations, um, I'm wearing Roma, so yeah, and also it's a really nice jersey to wear, uh, the one with the lightning bolt across. I would say we'll hop right in. I saw one game live, game live. I saw a few highlights. There we go. Uh, I actually, a little bit I saw Venezia Salernitana, especially the last few minutes, and Salernitana got a last gasp. A, more or less with the last shot of the game, they won this game. However, uh, a game that uh, Venezia led through Aramu uh, in, the in, in the first hole, half and the Bonazzoli could equalize. However, to me, the big talk talking about is the red card for Ampadu. Honestly, I do not understand why this red card was not rescinded. Ampadu is clearly playing the ball. It's not even a reckless challenge. Yes, he's last man. He's clearly playing the ball. There is nothing foul and rotten on this challenge. And I like that Venezia social media pull it out there uh, without even comment because ridiculous red card. I don't know why this wasn't overturned. In any case, maybe it was not clear and obvious to me. It was clear and obvious. But, you know, I'm not a referee. So uh, there you go. But, yeah, it was one of those red cards where you really, really, really wonder. Uh, so Sanitana with a win get off of last place, which is kind of big for them. What can I tell you about Milan Torino? Yeah, I don't want to see those black jerseys who were in a home game again. I honestly think they are not that great. Let's put it that, uh, that way. This is a proper Milan third jersey, not what they're wearing there. Um, the game was rather uneventful and exactly what I actually was looking for, for, forward to. Uh, I mean, a corner kick, Krunic heads it to uh, Giroud, who puts in a net in the 14th minute. I think there was one chance in the first half for Milan. There was maybe another one in the second half. Nothing coming from Torino until late. I knew it when Belotti came out. Okay, that uh, reassured me. Although uh, the guy who came in for, for Belotti, Sanabria, caused quite some trouble. He had two chances. Uh, but there was nothing really coming. When Zaza came, I knew the game is done. Um, the only thing is maybe Romagnoli got a little bit too worked up in the first first half, giving a yellow card and needed to take off. And But, you know, when Ananas and Kier came coming on, it was not convincing. It didn't need to be convincing. Three more points, all that, that I needed. Three more points that Juventus surely would have. More trouble for Juve. Uh, that's all I can say, more trouble, trouble for Juve. Although, uh, to be fair, from all that I can say, that Juve actually played all right. They played well. They, I mean, if they continue playing like that, I actually think they could run that, uh, at least not maybe not run the table, but, um, you know, catch up big time. However, Sassuolo was ridiculously efficient with their, their, their chance. Fatesi gives them the lead just before the half. And then, uh, really, Juve, it looked more or less all right. Maybe there's something just missing on the finishing touch. But they played a little bit more offensive. They didn't hang back and defend. And then we get a goal and uh, go out. No, they actually tried to play some, so, so something which I... In one way, you would say it's weird for Allegri, but I, I remember at Milan, he came in as kind of, not a necessarily offensive guru, but as a uh, coach that can uh, have uh, teams play rather attractively. Mechanic gets them the equalizer, and then Juve is actually doing what you would expect, pushing forward for the win. And then I can call out in the 95th on a card track, a wonderful pass by Berardi to Lopez, who makes it 2-1. And yeah, it's a shocker. It's absolutely a shocker because uh, Juve now is 13 points off the pace for sure. And I will do my damnedest to count them out. At the moment, my model spits them still out with a 4% chance of winning the title. Maybe if it's below 1%, I'm counting Juve out. They are not making my wall this week. Uh, they are the one team to be left out. 
But I'm still not count, counting him out because the squad is just too good and I think a Champions League spot will be easy for Juve. I still think so. I still think so. And I also have to dispel the rumors. Everyone thinks I dislike Juve. No, I do not dislike Juve. Milan and Juve uh, for years had actually a decent relations and they are black and white. So there's always a little bit, I don't want to say sympathy, but you know them uh there are teams in italy that i dislike a whole lot more um but speaking of teams i like i definitely like roma more than juve um cagliari this was straightforward in many ways uh pavoletti i mean it was all in the second half more uh more more or less pavoletti give cagliari a lead and uh, cagliari had ch ch chances to double the lead uh, but then on the same side, you know, so I, I think the hit uh, Roma hit once the crossbar. Uh, Zaniolo was kind of very uh, active in there. Um, and then Ibanez uh, gets an equalizer for Roma. And then the game is really kind of a little bit on a tip tipping point with Roma taking more and more over. And then it's a really nice uh, Pellegrini, uh, free freaking 78th, that gets Roma a vital win. They really, really needed that one. Because Roma was kind of teetering. Now we have a big matchup come, coming up between Roma and Milan. Uh, I am not so sure what to think about that one. Uh, the other Milan team, um, Inter. Empoli surely is a little bit aggrieved. They probably should have gotten a penal penalty. Then D'Ambrosio gives in the lead. Uh, Ricci is sent off with a straight red. And um, in the end... Inter uh, get another goal through Di Marco and the Gagliardini goal was disallowed. Lazio against Fiorentina was... I probably would have watched this game, uh, but you know, I, 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 I decided I'm on my birthday because we had so many things to do. Let's take it easy. Uh, and it was not much of a game, but the goal by Pedro, that was a nice passing move uh, and gives Lazio the win, but uh, Fiorentina was rather disappointing. And uh, Bologna, I was hoping a little bit more resistance to Napoli, but Napoli totally deserved it. And probably at the moment, despite them only being level uh, with point, uh, on points with Milan, they look to be the better team. I mean, if they win, they really win decisively. And Victor Osimhen seems to be the player of the league at the moment. Fabian Ruiz gives them the first goal with a great shot. Um, and then two Insigne penalties, which also will do a little bit to boost uh, the confidence of Insigne taking penalties. Uh, seeing Napoli 3-0 winners and again topping the table. Um, also want to mention uh, we had the second outing of the first ever Halloween kids by uh, any team I have not seen how much they are they are limited run and they will probably be very very expensive as the EA7 brand is already the most uh, at the moment even the most expensive shirts in soccer so yeah um, not much more than I can tell you about this round uh, except in the ne next round I think we have uh, two matches I already talked about Roma Milan which is on Sunday evening um, the round kicks off with a nice Atalanta Lazio matchup which I think also could be intriguing uh, Atalanta also getting a win and therefore second highest team up there any case uh, drop the line below uh, if you want to add anything to what I said in this video uh, so give me a thumbs up enjoy it uh, this video, subscribe to my channel and see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!